here with Thunder have suffered a disappointing 19-point loss to East Perth at Leaderville Oval on Saturday. Despite Peel's tough effort around the contest, they failed to recover from a goalless first term, falling to East Perth 9-10-64 to 6-9-45. Midfielder Luke Valenti said Peel's inability to shut down East Perth's ball movement played a major part in the final result. They got the jump on us pretty early um, and yeah we just didn't defend them well today at all um, and that was a focus coming in so they like to play possession footy and um, chip the ball around uh, get uncontested marks and we just couldn't shut them down. East Perth started strong kicking three unanswered goals in the first quarter and Peel struggled to fight their way back for the remainder of the game. Despite the scoreboard the Thunder dominated inside 50 entries amassing 44 entries to East Perth's 29. Valenti said a better connection between the midfield and forward line is needed if Peel are to make the most of their entries. Just a lack of mid-forward connection, um, which is yeah, something that we're focusing on as a, as a club as a whole. So, um, yeah, we'll stick to that, um, to working on that throughout the week, I think, because, yeah, it was pretty disappointing again to um, have that many inside 50s and not be able to capitalise. It's, um, yeah, pretty tough when that happens. Peel showed resilience in the third and fourth quarter, kicking three goals in the third term and holding East Perth to a goalless last quarter. Luke Valenti said the team still believed the result was possible despite being on the back foot. We believed we could get over him, but um, we were just too inconsistent in the end. So we're in, we're in the game in patches, but um, yeah, in, inefficiency going inside 50 really hurts you. Brett Buley was a key ball winner for the Thunder, amassing 27 disposals, whilst Lockie Schultz start up forward with two goals and 22 disposals. After two successive losses, Peel looked to respond against East Fremantle at New Homes Choice Park on Saturday, July 20th.